Okay, I see live TVers. Got another informational video for you. So remember I told you about this app right here, Background Apps and Processes? Well, they got a new version, right? So this is the old version. And when you launch the old version, it's going to say, hey, there's a new version, a later version. Do you want to install it? You're going to say, yes, download the latest version. I already did it, so I'm just going to go to the latest version. Here's the latest version. It does a better job of scanning what you have on your system, so it's a much better version. The other one has four things or five things open. This one had like five, eight things open, something like that. But the first thing you want to do is uninstall the old version. So you're going to go down here to background apps and processes. And, you know, typically when you launch this thing, you would say force stop and hit the back button. But here, this time you're going to uninstall it because we don't need the old version anymore. So uninstall the old version. Done. Now what you do, it should have been going, but let's do a refresh. Remember that circle at the top to the top right, does a refresh. Now you see background apps and processes going once I did a refresh. So now what you want to do is do uh, close all apps. And I'm not going to close them all, but I'm going to show you. You do close all apps. And then you hit four stop and hit the back button. Four stop, hit the back button. Four stop, hit the back button. Four stop, hit the back button. And maybe I will close them all. Four stop and hit the back button. Four stop, hit the back button. You just keep hitting four stop and hit the back button on your remote until they all go on. I'm going to do a refresh over here. You see how I would do a scan of your whole system to make sure? That's why it's so much better. Make sure you use this new app, the new version of background apps and processes. If you're having issues, this is the first thing you do to kind of uh, troubleshoot. Another thing, another thing what I want you guys to do is that if you're having issues, go here to settings, go to my account. Uh, no, not my account. Settings about. Settings here. Settings. Uh, my Fire device or Fire TV. Go to restart. Restart your Fire Stick. You sure you want to restart? Yes, restart it. So those are two good troubleshooting step, st steps if you're having issues with your Fire Stick that, that can save you a lot of headaches. Uh, uh, thank you for supporting IC Live TV. Talk to you.